Welcome to Photoshop for Beginners. In today's episode I will talk about image size and canvas size because some people just can't tell the difference between uh, the two of them and I want to explain how they work. When you create a new document you will, uh, you will be asked to enter the width and the height of an image and also the resolution. The resolution is not really important because uh, this is just for printing so if you want to change the dimensions of an image you have two options when you go to the image menu you have image size and canvas size now the canvas size uh, when you open uh, a picture like this by default the image size and the canvas size are the same so if I want to make the canvas bigger uh, I go to canvas size and right now it's 600 by 600 so if I want to make it wider like 800 and click OK you will see that both sides are now uh, wider and so because here is no content it's a transparent uh, you can you see the transparency image canvas size you can also I most of the times I use this uh, shortcut uh, alt control and C if you want to use it if you only want to increase the size to one side of the image, you can use the uh, arrows here. Uh, if I type 800 now and click OK, you will see only this part uh, uh, being uh, widened. That's because I locked the right side. Another way of understanding how the canvas size works is by by using the free transform tool so press ctrl T and you load this uh, selection around the image and you can move it around and now uh, the image uh, is not on the center of the canvas and if you press OK you can see that I moved it from the center of the canvas let me put it back and what I want to do now is make the canvas smaller so that you can see that it's not affecting the image so I'll make it 400 by 400 and OK, and you can see the canvas size is smaller than the current uh, canvas size. Some clipping will occur, and I proceed to that. If I press the Control T, you will see the image size stay the same. Even if I move it, the the image that is outside the canvas is not lost. So it, it's still there. You can move it around and put it however you want. And let's go back to 600. and let me match this like that and now let's go with the image size so you can see the difference if I get when you click the image size you get this um, window which is similar to the window when you create a new document and I have uh, I have this option uh, checked which says constraint, constraint proportions and let's make it 400 by 400 again so the difference between this and what I did before with the canvas size is that now you can see the whole image is, um, is shrunk so now the image is smaller and everything is visible it still matches the canvas size so when you when you use the image size you will affect the contents of the layer when you're using canvas size the contents of the layers uh, are not uh, affected so it's as simple as that. If you want to change the image size, but you don't want to constrain the proportions, and let's may let's say you want to make this like 2,000. And since I said this affects the the contents of the layer, when I click OK, watch what happened. It distorts the image. And if I want to make like 100, 1,000, it distorts it even more. If you want to have the format of a wallpaper, uh, let's say I want to have 400 by 300, but without affecting the image, I can use canvas size instead. So type 300 here, and you will see that now the canvas size is smaller. If you go to document size, you can see it's indeed 400 by 300 but the image is not uh, affected 
of course now it's uh, not all of it is visible but at least it's not distorted is not distorted and you can move it around and place it however you want so that's pretty much the difference between canvas size and image size